welcome to the interesting podcast episode number 124 this episode is with one of my really good friends nathan bonk who's like one of my favorite people in the world he's such a delight and i actually haven't talked to him in a really long time uh he and i had met uh doing a movie a few years ago called tethered and uh we became really good friends really fast and the last time i saw him was actually at the premiere uh of that which was well man five years ago now long time long time but man was it good to catch up with him we uh we actually talked about tethered how he uh how he actually got the job us working together what that experience was like he's actually in new york now um which was really cool and he well i mean he got there well he got there last year and uh with everything going on has really been through the ringer but this is nathan so he's taking it in stride uh, we talk about what it was like moving to New York, uh, surviving his first New York winter, uh, the differences coming from Orlando, Florida, to New York, how much he loves it there. Um, he uh, is a bartender at a Broadway theater, so he's got some great stories about what that's like and that job and being so close to all of it and how cool it is. Um, we actually talked about how in Orlando, where he lived before, he actually did a ton of stunts for like live shows and stuff like that, which I didn't know. Uh, so it was really, it was really funny to to learn about that and like a few close calls, a couple other things that went through there. And uh, yeah, we just talked about all kinds of stuff. Nathan is fantastic. One thing we forgot to talk about was how many podcasts he's on. He's got quite a few that are really good. He's got one called uh, Listen to This Shit, where he and a friend uh, find crazy weird stories in history and talk about it. It's hilarious. He's got another one called Champagne Synopsis, which is exactly what it sounds like. So I'm not going to ruin it for you. So definitely check those out. But before you do, Please check out this episode of The Interesting Podcast, episode number 124 with Nathan Bonk. Theme song time. There he is. Hey, buddy. Look, look at that beautiful man. How are uh, you doing? I, I mean, I know. You can see yourself, too? <laughs> so great. Good. Nathan. How are you been, sir? Uh, well, I'm better now. Yeah. Look at you. Uh, good. I've been good. I've been good. Look at your setup. All legit. Look I at know, you. right? I've been recording <laughs> some podcasts of my own, so I got, a, I, got, I got the microphone and all that shit going on. Really? I love the hair. Look at you. You're Thanks. Just, you're just killing it. Quarantine hair, you know. Yeah. I had to either <laughs> shave it off or turn it gray at some point. Yeah. This is kind of the rules. So, I understand. I like that you went with both. <laughs> yeah, exactly. much shorter and gray. Yeah, Why? yeah. I like I it. How you been? Good. I feel like it's been so long. I know it's crazy. I was actually just uh, I, I was at the park because you know I'm up in New York now. Oh yeah. Oh uh, my God. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That rings yeah, different been, now. It sure does. Uh, it's been insane. And um, I mean, you know, I've, I, it's fine. I've been in quarantine. I've been not doing anything. Sure. Uh, but I've been going out to the park and stuff recently because it's just actually gorgeous out now. And I've been stuck inside the apartment for so fucking long. I'm ready yeah. to just be. Oh, by the way, am I allowed to cuss? Oh, yeah. Is that a... Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Bobby has been on this show twice. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. Um. But actually, I was walking up there today. I went to the park today. I actually just got back a little bit ago, and I was listening to uh, your podcast where you talked to Chris. Oh, yeah. And I was just like hearing all that and reliving all that. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, I know. The it's... good times. Oh, the fucking movie. Isn't that crazy to think about? Like, that was like five years ago. It was so long ago. I know. Jeez. And, and I, I know. I. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Even of it really like when i sit here and think about like god it seems like it was just yesterday and but yeah it has been that long yeah yeah oh he ruined sets for me i realized because i've done (laughs) i've done a few movies since and chris was so good to us as far as like food and taking care of everybody and how he ran a set that since then i've been on sets i was like tether was better than this (laughs) yeah (laughs) guys together please yeah guys like i'm i was never hungry on a chris foster set (laughs) 
<laughs> You've obviously never been on a Chris Foster set. Exactly. Yeah, you don't know him. Come on, guys. <laughs> Tethered. You ever heard of it? I have a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> There's a t-shirt and stickers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Step your game up, guys. <laughs> uh, it's been so I'm long. Out, I don't. I don't see myself. Am I like centered and all that kind of stuff? Or am maybe. I... I mean, it's just an audio show, so it doesn't. I mean, maybe. Do you oh, fe- sure, yeah. do you feel centered, Nathan? Is that do you feel it? I'm here. I'm present. I'm centered. I'm yeah, ready to go. that's all it takes. That's all it takes. How long? How long have you been in New York? I moved here last year. Ooh. I got here. Uh, like April was my one year, and it was kind of oh, yeah? like. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to ring it in, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Great. You picked uh, the perfect really time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I. Like it's been amazing. I, I have absolutely loved every second of being in the city. Like this is the city where I I just need to be, and I fucking love it so much here. Yeah, cool. Um, got I got a great job. I was I'm actually was bartending uh at oh, the sweet. Broadway theater, like for the shows and everything. So no big deal. Whatever. If you heard of it, <laughs> yeah. But you know, so I gotta like work in theater, uh, even though I wasn't. I'm not like, performing and stuff yet. Uh, it's like I still got to be in the environment around it. And everybody that works for the company is they're all actors too. So like, yeah, we all just, yeah, it's like being with my people, you know, you know it's great and uh, great money, you know, it sure. starts taking care of me Hell yeah. until of course. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> they, I, I was one of the first people to lose their jobs. Cause as soon as brought, like I was really literally getting ready to go to work. And yeah. then my friend texted me and was like, Hey, are you working tonight? I'm like, yep. And he's like, no, you aren't. <laughs> and the, the, the news story about how Broadway just completely shut down. It's like, oh, shit. Right. Okay. okay. Listen, also, that was kind of mean. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. It's like it's a kill okay. bill. Look at your name on the schedule. There was your name on the schedule. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, my God. But so it's really great, though, because I've, you know, just, just absolutely been thrilled every second that I've been here, but... You know, quarantine's not the best, but I'll still be here afterwards. I know a lot of my friends are picking up and going now, and I'm like, nope, I'm just going to ride this one out. And you got a bunch of people that work there now. You can go ahead and move away because you're probably not going to need a lot of work. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, I'll take your shifts. There you go. It's fine. I love it. You're you're like, I'm a New Yorker now, all right? And we don't leave. (laughs) Exactly. There you go. I'm a New Yorker. I've been here for a year. Yeah, I love it. I'm I'm living here. Yeah, there you go. (laughs) I like it. That's so cool. Was it was it an adjustment? Cause you wait, are you from Florida? C- uh, not originally. I was there for like twelve years though. Uh, uh, yeah. So that's the longest I've lived. Should we be doing this on the actual? This all gets edited later I... on, Nathan. Come on. Oh, you're recording all this, <laughs> Nathan. Oh, I, I didn't I'm a record. professional. You're... All right. Oh. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> I like gotcha. to lull you into security and then be like, ha ha ha. Now that we got the goods, pull the plug, guys. Pull the plug. (laughs) (laughs) And that was the time I murdered someone. Exactly. This is a recording, right? (laughs) No, 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 no. no. But where is he? (laughs) (laughs) Where did you put it? Yeah, like specifically. Do you have addresses? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, who's next? It doesn't matter. That's right. That's Uh, right. (laughs) But yeah, no, so I've, uh, I lived in Florida for like 12 years, and that was like my... I had a huge, a great career there. I don't want to say huge career. Yeah. I had, I had a great career. I really enjoyed it. And I had, um, I got to do a lot of stuff there, including Tethered, which was like still pretty, pretty cool. Highlight. <laughs> so, yeah. so great. Agreed. I, I just love it so much. Uh, but I, it was just kind of one of those, well, I've been in Florida for a long time now and I knew I wasn't going to stay in Orlando forever. And it was kind of one of those like, shit, get off the pot. Just fucking go to New yeah. York. And you know, I wasn't seeing anybody. I didn't have any projects coming up. Uh, I happened to be working at um, a Lululemon uh, oh, store sweet. in Orlando. Yeah. And so they were able to transfer me up to a store in New York. So I came in with a job. Right. Oh. And and then you know, within like a few – six months, I think, not even – something like that, I found this new job that I absolutely love. And I've just been living that New York life and loving every second of it. And uh, I, I really you know, can't wait for – quarantine to be yeah. over because <laughs> it really kind of sucks right now it's yeah like, yeah and for you new york it's gonna be so long because we all live on top of each other yeah like literally <laughs> you're you are in the worst place for it it's just mm-hmm. so many uh, yeah literally on top of each other 
Like <laughs> <It's your room. laughs> there's nowhere that you can go that you are not like you get very close and personal with strangers on the subway if it's rush hour. It's just, you're you're up yeah. in somebody's armpit and it's <laughs> kind of get it, you know. It's like it's it's, it's the give it and goes. take. Yep. Yeah, it's fine. Like I'll I'll have my earbuds in or have my little book squished up against my face. So. There you go. <laughs> you you are a New Yorker, <laughs> right? That's, yeah. I mean, that's the whole thing. That's what we do. That's all we do. We that's all it. ride trains back all yeah. day long. That's, that's it. All, that's what we do. <laughs> Did it take you a long time to figure out the subway? Because I was there for like three days and I never got the hang of it. It it did. Like it was a. Where I live, I live in Washington Heights. Oh, cool. uh, so, and I just so happen to live like a block away from the A train and a block in the other direction away from the one train, nice. which are the two like main vein trains that go to the North end of the Island. So like the A train is the express one that goes straight down to the bottom of the Island and Sweet. you just hop off where we need to go. Mm-hmm. And the one train had a lot of stops and stuff. But, uh, once I got the hang of the big letters and which kind of what section of the city they were in, then I I've gotten actually pretty good at it now where it's like, I know whether or not I should get on the front of the train or the back of the train, because that's going to be the easier when I get uh, off. I had four, you know, like, yeah. Like, <laughs> once you figure out like the streets and the avenues and what train goes along, which one. Sure. Once that clicks, you can pretty much get anywhere in the city whenever you want to it's awesome that's one of the gotcha. best things about living in new york is the is i mean you know everybody complains about the mta and yada yada but yeah. damn it's so awesome i love it so much <laughs> yeah coming from a place that doesn't have anything like that you're like okay no. listen <laughs> listen yeah. like, I, I don't even have a car anymore i i was you so don't need it today i sold my car in orlando i'm like fuck it i don't need a car ever yeah again. we're done somewhere. with this a- <laughs> yeah <laughs> It's been awesome. That's cool. Goodbye, car yeah, get out of here. Tired of all that. And I don't think any. I think that's also a part of being a New Yorker. If you have a car, are you really? Are you really a New Yorker? I feel like you're not. I feel like yeah. you're not. You're probably from Jersey, <laughs> right? <laughs> that's how that works. <laughs> exactly. Nobody drives in New York. There's too much traffic. Yeah, yeah. It's too. It's too. <laughs> too. It's too condensed. You know. I. I learned the hard way how big Central Park is. That was an oh. interesting experience. It's. Uh, massive yeah like you don't really get it until you try to like walk around and you're like yeah Shit. yeah yeah now do it in the snow what? with a wife that's hungry oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, no. we went to like we were going to um this place to eat lunch and we're like oh this will be fine we walked in and there was you know a line out the door it goes okay maybe we aren't gonna eat here we'll find somewhere else and i was like well we want to see central park it's right there so we go and i was like we'll just walk toward the buildings there's got to be another place to eat that way and then it was very far away. The buildings are very tall, <laughs> so you've got like miles long. Yeah, and, uh, they seem so much closer. Than yeah, the- no, no, no. We made it. Uh, we made it. I want to say a little less than halfway before she was like, "We're getting an Uber," and I was like, "That's fair. That's fair. We haven't eaten yet." Okay, my I bad. Had <laughs> I definitely had friends visit and stuff that I, like gave up halfway. I was like, "Well, it's gonna be like if you want to go there, we can walk. If you want, like it's gonna be a minute." And they're like, "No, it's fine. We'll go." It's like we'll walk. And I'm like, "Yeah, I mean, I w- I'll walk it. No problem. I walk all the fucking time now." Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> but it, it, it's a minute. And like halfway there, they're like, "Like, God damn, this is actually a lot." I'm like, "Yeah, it's it's a lot of walking." <laughs> yeah, I told you it'd be an adventure. That doesn't happen in 15 yeah. minutes. <laughs> exactly. An avenue is a long way to walk. Down. Yeah. It's just my you don't God. realize. Uh, also, next time I'm coming, I'm, I need the Nathan Bonk tour. Just saying. Uh, hell yeah. All the best places. I mean, you know, once the yeah. world. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not coming anywhere near there now. <laughs> no offense, but I think you I understand. Would <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be free on the outside. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell me. Live yeah. Like, yeah. Let me live my yes. yeah. you. Have you seen the I sun? I remember the outdoors. <laughs> 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 Have you seen the sun? Does she remember me? <laughs> 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 oh my god! Uh, uh, I think you yeah, know. No, I think I, I was there just before you moved. Now that I think about it, it was, it was definitely in March, I think. Yeah, yeah. late March ish, either last year or the year before, one of the two. Either way, and it was cold. It was last year, it was literally right before I moved here. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was cold. It was cold. But that cool. It's been an adjustment because uh, coming from Florida. Oh yeah, you lived you through know. a New York winter. How was that? Yeah. Well, uh, from what I understand, it was actually a really mild winter this winter. And I, because I even was sitting around, like, I bought a gigantic parka from. Did you? Uh, <laughs> with the, with the, with like, the fur? I, you know, I was like, 
Yeah, oh, it's like, <laughs> like it doesn't have the fur, but this thing is like I am the Michelin Man, except it's black. Like, of course, it's, it's humongous. Perfect. But I was like, fuck, I don't care. It's it still says like Lululemon on it, so it's still gonna look New York. There you but, go. But like, I don't care if I look like a big marshmallow. I'm gonna be warm when it's freezing out, and I'm gonna need that. I need that security of knowing I can do that. Smart I man. wore it like once. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm like. It's really not that – it's fine. It's fine, you guys. Right, okay. right. Even if it isn't, you have to say it is. I get it. Mm-hmm. I get it. I see what you're doing here. I'll, right. I'll, I'll cover you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because after the summer – when I got here, you know, in April, it was warming up, and uh, people kept telling me up here, they're like, oh, yeah, no, it's it's because it's gorgeous out here in the springtime and most of the summer. Like, it's so beautiful. Yeah. And the parks just explode with green and flowers. And it's, I, uh, I love cool. them so live right next to this park called the Fort Tryon Park. It's it's stunning. It's amazing. Yeah. I, I go there as I can. Um, but the people that I work with and or you know just friends and stuff here would be like, oh yeah, it's it's nice now, but it's gonna get really hot later on in the summer. <laughs> just so I'm you like, know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I came here from Florida. Um yeah, Orlando, Florida. Yeah. Like, I'm going to need you to calm down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that word means something different where I come from. <laughs> and how well, how did it, was, it compare? It was actually it was actually hot for like 3 days. But 3 okay. little days. Okay. Okay. Cuz I mean it was like just it was warm, you know, it wasn't like cold outside or cool outside. I'm wearing shorts and t-shirts or or uh, tank tops. Sure. Around and that uh but there was a heat wave that came through and it was like actually humid and like got up to like 90 and I'm like, yeah, no, this is hot. Like it's <laughs> yeah. hot today and, and these three days and that's it. And then it was over and that right. was the hottest I ever got and it was done. I'm like, You're like, I've been training for this my oh whole my life. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm used to like five, six months of straight up hell on earth. Yeah. Like kind of wet. Like yeah. just high and hot, or humid and hot and, and terrible and, so yeah, oh, it yeah. wasn't bad at all. Yeah. I tell people all the time, I was like, I was okay. like Florida, you got to swim through the air. I was like, enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. It's. Jeez. So then, by the time the winter came, I was like, whatever, bring it on. If yeah. That's what I get. The summertime, I'll take a cold winter. I'll, I'll figure sure, it out. Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll survive somehow. You're like, I got a feeling there's some exaggeration going on over here. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of talk that stuff up. It's soon. Right. right. I couldn't believe when we were there, it was snow everywhere, and a lot of the women were just wearing leggings. I was like, are you not cold? Like, how? Yeah. I'm cold yeah. just looking at you, but you're just like, got oh, boots and leggings. I was like, those aren't pants. How is that insulating look, at all? I look cute, though, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. <laughs> yep. Yep. I'll give it to you. I'll get facts or facts. I just, you're cold, you but yeah, you got to suffer for the looks. I get it. I understand. <laughs> this is New York, baby. Like, That's right. <laughs> yeah, you know, respect. I give you the respect for that. You ain't wearing pants in the snow. You get my respect. That's all it takes. <laughs> oh, so, what, what about you? What do you have to do these days? Like, what is your your? Oh, you know, just uh, burning the candle at both ends, as you do. I got, you mm. know, still got still got the night job. Still doing papers, uh, seven nights a week, and then still doing acting gigs during the day. You know, yeah, buddy. Chasing the dream, as it were. I'm going to be in Star Wars soon, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm excited. That's, oh, my gosh. Yeah, tell me more about this. is like public knowledge, right? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, we, we announced on Monday. Uh, let's see. That, this is good practice for me because of what I can say and what I can't say. Uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you got I, the comfort of yeah, editing ex- now, too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm in control here. I did a live show the other night. Like, you want to come on and plug it? And I was like, sure. And they asked me questions, and I was like, oh, no, can't. Oh, Hold on. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I I'll say this. We so we've been working on it for almost a year. Um which has been really nice cuz nobody knew and I found out I really like working that way. Um now that uh, everyone knows, there's a lot of pressure now that I didn't see coming cuz I'm an idiot. And uh wait, so it's going to be a feature length audio drama. <sighs> it's uh got a full cast of amazing actors. And uh <laughs> And uh yeah. That's what I hear. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah, we uh so we started uh we came up with the idea last June and then I started writing it in July. I wrote it for three months with a writing buddy of mine and we've been in production since October. And it's coming along. 
the yes. That is so, I'm so, so exciting. Excited. What a great idea. And Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm just tired of waiting for opportunities, you know? It's like, I'll just make some of my own. Like, good Lord. Dude, <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. I have, um, back in the day, I actually had written a screenplay that uh, I had oh. actually even talked to Chris about. And, it, like, unfortunately, it kind of got set to the wayside for me because then the prospect of moving and I had some health stuff come up like, and sure. now I'm in New York and like, I was going to try and film it like in Atlanta area. And now everything just kind of changed, but yeah. I'm like, it's, it's the same kind of thing. I was like, you know what? I had such a great time filming tethered and everything. I'm, I'm a writer. I should just write a damn screenplay that yeah. we can film again and let, let's get like the crew back together let's, and everybody who's available to do it and fucking film something else, get some sponsors, get some something, yeah. you know? Yeah. Absolutely. That's and, what, way to go. Uh, yeah. And other than that, I've actually been working on my own uh, with quarantine going on. And even before that, um, I've been working on my own personal writing. The uh, I'm writing a novel at the moment, which is a hell yeah, air of a fucking thing. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> like, I don't have good, it in me. Sweet, oh my god, good sweet Jeez. Jesus! I don't like. I, I, yeah. I <laughs> ran in with blind faith thinking that I had one in me and now I'm like in the middle of it and like Jesus Christ this is so much <laughs> like what have I done? <laughs> like I know it's in there but man it's hard to pull it out sometimes it's like dude I, same and especially with quarantine happening you know we're all going through isolation and and depressions up and down and some days you get up and it's like you know what I'm going to clean the kitchen and i'm gonna go for a run and you know with a mask on and socially distanced and i'm and then i'm gonna do all this and other days i wake up and it's time for a glass of wine at 10 a.m yeah, I, yeah. You know, I don't... <laughs> wait that's not an everyday thing in your house that, oh, i was gonna say like <laughs> well, 10 a.m is usually the yes yeah, as soon as that clock hits double digits you're in the clear at castle balance oh, exactly. <laughs> you know how we all started quarantine it's like oh you know what i can start drinking at 5 p.m it's fine you know yeah, yeah well yeah. you know what? i guess today i can start at like three yeah <laughs> and like 20 days into it you're like good morning <laughs> yeah exactly you're like what's what's stopping it mimosas is a great way to start by lunch exactly. the margaritas what is i don't see a problem here Not you sure. do you you know <laughs> Oh, and you have like the the ar- I have like the arsenal of alcohol. So like I have same. You know, I have like a a, a handle of vodka. I have yeah, b- bottles of wine. I have like Trulies. I have some beer because you just never know exactly never what know. kind of exactly. You're be. I appreciate <laughs> you being prepared. <laughs> That's, I, when I heard about quarantine, you know the first door I went. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like I've lived through hurricanes. I know the necessities. <laughs> I'm going to be stuck inside all day. I need to go out and get some beer. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that I saw this meme one time and it was like people getting ready for quarantine and freaking out about being like stuck at home. And then it was like Floridians are just excited to still have power. And I was like, yeah, hey, <laughs> hey, it's true. It's, it's training, true. training. Yeah. That's a, yeah. That's it's what, like, In the city, it's been like crazy because once again, everybody's on top of each other, but at least the cool thing about it is that, most New Yorkers are very much like, no, you wear your mask when you go outside. Hell Not, yeah. Like, you know, you, this you, isn't a question. <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. if you see somebody who's not wearing a mask, it's one of those, you know, everybody's giving them looks like, bitch. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is my health mask. a joke to you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, it's just a fucking joke. Yeah. <laughs> there was like a uh, video that came out of like New Yorkers like shouting at, some woman who wasn't wearing a mask in a grocery store oh. and like there was like half a dozen people being like get the fuck out like get out like <laughs> what are you doing just get out like what are you doing sure and i'm sitting here like yeah don't, that's right, people. <laughs> tell them you, you tell her tell her that's right like, it's a simple request you know it's not a big deal it's really not that's and, the crazy and, and thing like, like, oh, you're over wearing a mask. It's uncomfortable. Would you think I love it? Yeah. Like, do you think it's something <laughs> I enjoy wearing? Like, what? yeah. What yeah. You, come on. Just I think don't be I, a dick. I think I posted this thing the other day on like my stories or something like that. And I was like, hey, so, and I like, I, I was working because I, I have to wear a mask whenever I go in and out of my stores at night because some of them are open. And I was like, you know what? Because a bunch of people were just complaining about it. And I was like, hey, so like, little PSA to anyone who uh, doesn't like wearing a mask. Uh, Maybe just stop being a little bitch. You know, it's, it's not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like, just, like, yeah, like, is that is that your problem? Like, my God. What is your life when you're like, 
this is the hill I die on. And now yeah. we're going to mask like, Man. Like, come on. Bro. <laughs> what a weird can't. time to be alive. Though, it'll be really interesting to talk about this in like three years. You know what I mean? Be like, yeah, I lived through the 2020 pandemic. That was nuts. Oh. People were hoarding toilet paper. I don't know why. <laughs> like, <laughs> still, still not really sure on that one why. Yeah. And, but, you know, it's cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's how I get through. That's how I get through bad times. I'm like, you know what? This is going to make for a good story later on. Later on, yeah. later on, we're like, okay. Yeah, that was shit beforehand. Awful. Had a horrible time. But now, that was kind of neat. Kind of neat. It's, yeah. Say, I can say I did that. I exactly. Like, you know, I've, I've thought about that too. I'm like, I'll be able to say that I was in New York during the fucking pandemic of 2020. It's yeah. Yeah. Like, it make, dude, it makes for such episode. a better story that you finally followed your dream, you moved to New York, and then the world went to hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> should, I, should I take that as a sign? Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a sign that you're strong, Nathan. Don't you leave. Uh, uh, yeah. Don't you give up on me. <laughs> I mean, okay, so I, I will have to pat myself on the back, and I will also. I'll help. I'll help. Uh, at the time. <laughs> thank you. At the testament to. Uh, all the you know scientists and professionals who have been saying the whole time, yes. wash your hands, don't touch your face, and yeah. you should be fine. <laughs> yeah. um, I was working as a bartender at Broadway shows uh, all throughout December, January, February, into March, Ooh. like ha- having literally thousands of social interactions a week, and yeah. handling tons of money, handling drinks with people, all this like just people from all over the world. Broadway, New sure. York City, Broadway. Yeah, like, come on. When all this shit was like spreading like wildfire, and we didn't really know or take it seriously. Yeah. Uh, and I went and got tested uh, like last week, and I came back, you know, negative for COVID nineteen. Yeah. But you. I also came back negative for the antibodies, which means I never actually got an infection, even though I was basically working in the petri dish. Wow. All while, while it was dodge that going. bullet. Yeah, and I'm like. Well, what do you know? I'm <laughs> diligent about washing my hands and not touching my face. Right. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe. Well, maybe there's something to do this. Oh, wait. They have it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Do you, yeah, it was... Were you – had you done bartending before? Uh, yeah, I bartended um, years ago, like, uh, at friend uh, kind of – yeah, <laughs> at my friend's well, house. <laughs> yeah, I've made tons of drinks. You know, yeah. uh, it was kind of like a hole in the wall uh, British pub. Place oh, there you Orlando. go. There you uh, go. It was, you know, it was great. But it's it's such a fun job because it's so fast and like there's just there's always lines and you have to the whole thing is trying to turn over some drinks and. You know, do it friendly, be with a smile, all that kind of stuff, just so you have great interaction. But it's really quick because they want you to give them the drink quick because they have to get to their seat. Blah, blah, right. Blah. You have to get through everybody before the show starts and then everybody in 15 minutes at intermission. Right. But, dude, I should work and I, like, set up my bar. And then pre-show happens for, like, you know, 45 minutes to an hour. Mm-hmm. Then the show starts. And I, like, clean up the bar, restock. Intermission go. happens for 15 minutes. I clean up my bar and I go home. Oh, and sweet. And I don't have to deal with, like, drunks yeah <laughs> you have to deal with drunks but i don't have to deal with like somebody sitting at us taking a stool at my bar for hours or anything. like i don't right. have to you know, worry about that kind of stuff it's like hey as long as i give you your drink and make and everybody's always happy to see you because you're sure. giving them their drink <laughs> yeah. when they're going to the Broadway show like they're in a great mood i i, I freaking love that job there you go there you go what was so broadway is there multiple shows going on at the same time or is there like a run of something how does this work uh, okay, so um, Broadway, there's like 40-something Broadway theaters, uh, like on and off Broadway in, in the theater district of Manhattan, and um, s- several of the big like uh, like Broadway theaters, uh, they'll have different shows in them that come and go, depending on how good, how well the show does, how long it runs, and all that. Like, Wicked's been there for... Right. Or Book of Mormon's been there forever. Mm-hmm. Lion King's been there for twenty something years. You know, sure. stuff like that. Phantom of the Opera still going. <laughs> yeah, still there. Yep. Like so, those ones are there. But then there's other theaters that kind of have more rotating houses. Uh, like I work and and the company I work for, they provide the concessions for who whichever theaters they have. Uh, contracts oh, cool, with. smart. So like I was working at. Um, like Moulin Rouge, I worked there a lot. Uh, mean Girls, the musical, um, 
I worked at the New York City Center, which had tons of amazing stuff that would go through it. And this place is gorgeous, dude. Uh, I worked there a lot. Um, Aladdin and what? Fr- Frozen, which I'm sad. Frozen isn't coming back. That one closed down. Um, and uh, oh, and the, uh, right before the pandemic shut down, I was about to. I got switched full time. I was going to be working at the uh, Mrs. Doubtfire. Ooh. Uh, I saw the show like right in one of the last previews they had before everything shut down, and it was really cute. Like it was really good. I I was excited to work there. Yeah. Then. Then well yeah. It's a, did, so did you? Because I'm fascinated by bartenders because they're like real life potion makers. You know, like how do you want to feel? Hold on. How about yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> did you have to like take a? Did you go to take a class? Because I know there's like bartending classes, or did you just like I, learn? Then, to be honest, I, I've i done a lot of, like, I would mess around when I used to work at the bar, like, mixing up stuff here sure. and there, and, but that's been years and years ago, yeah, yeah. so, you know, <laughs> you have to, like, freshen up on yeah, stuff, but I, I have stuff at home, too, like, and I'll uh, try to, like, mix my own stuff here and there, and it's just kind of a, yeah, the more you do it, the better you get at it, but honestly, like, bartending on, on at these places, I don't have to do a whole lot of, like, actual mythology. Oh, right, they got their classics. Yeah, it's just like, here's the liquor I got. Here's the mixers I got. What do you want? You know, like yeah, there you go. Streamline. Or there's like, yeah, or there's like specialty drinks depending on what theater they're. You know, they'll have cute ones and stuff like that. But, uh, so it's it's real simple. Like it's, there you go. That's like, the way to go. Yeah, I I just, it's really about can you, can you do it quickly and, you know, with personality, and make people happy. Right. And that's pretty much what... Not make a giant and, mess. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, this and this. Everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> F up your money counts and stuff while you're doing everything super fast because it's... Right. It gets crazy. It gets hectic. I love that shit. What, <laughs> like, what, bring it on. what do you find is the most common drink that you make? I know. I asked the hard uh, ones. Huh? Weren't ready for that, were you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I wasn't. Especially since it's been three months since yeah, I made exactly. a drink. <laughs> Think way back when in your bartending days. <laughs> uh, uh, as far as mixed drinks went, people love, like, because we have Tito's, so people uh, love Tito's. Of course. Um, yeah. Uh, a lot of champagne when people go to oh, Broadway shows. They, like, makes sense. The bubbly. And we'll, we'll, we'll have, fancy. like, specialty drinks with bubbly in it. Oh, yeah. raise nice. that pinky! Yeah, yeah, gotta add some class to the experience. Real classy, and all the the cups. Like, in order to bring the cup into the theater, it has to have a lid. Oh, of course. So it's like an adult sippy cup with your <laughs> alcohol in it, and it, they're hilarious. Like, I have a, a bunch of them because you know it's just every time I've gone to a Broadway show, that if you get a drink, they put it. It comes in this like souvenir cup. So yeah, I have yeah. ones from a There you go. A little adult sippy cup. There you go. It's a way to live. Drinking champagne out of a little sippy cup. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, the allure. (laughs) Mm -hmm. What what is what is your go-to drink then? Uh, if I am drinking whatever I want, I'm a whiskey drinker. Same. I love. If we can get anything, like give me some Macallan. Oh my god. Ooh, you've got (laughs) taste. Absolutely, yeah. Like good. Uh, I mean, but if I'm being frugal then I'll, I'll go for you know jim beam there you Jack go. Daniels, something like that for sure yeah, yeah I'm, a, I'm a jim beam man myself because you oh, know yes. i'm cheap <laughs> <laughs> exactly but i mean jim beam is good for what like uh jim beam makes i think one of the best manhattans like if you want to make a manhattan like yeah. get you some, get some jim beam gets you a little sweet vermouth gets you some cherry uh, get a cherry and you bam Boom. you got the taste yes Agree. It's real classy. Yeah, that's what I like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm a very classy man, and Jim Beam is the way to go. <laughs> I like. I'm a, I'm a whiskey sour guy. I really enjoy whiskey sour. I never had one before my wedding. My uh, one wow. of my one of my groomsmen was like, which you... by the way, like I haven't seen you since. I the know wedding. it's been so long. Like, yeah. How long has this been? It's crazy. Yeah, it's been. It a, feels like you know. I just saw you the other day, and we were. I know. Building when was the last time five. we saw each other? Was it? Were you at the premiere? You were at the premiere. Yeah. Was that? I was at the premiere. Yeah. I remember it yeah, now. Yeah, I think that might have been the last time that we saw each oh, other. Wow, that's too long. Because. Yeah, because. 
Wow. Yeah. That was cool. Damn. See, again, oh my gosh. again, Chris spoiled us. What other oh. indie movie gets a premiere at a movie theater? At a movie theater with a red carpet and photographers and interviews and all yeah. this. I was like, I, what the hell? Like, I, I thought, like, <laughs> I thought it was going to be like us showing up to watch it together. Like, I thought it was going to be like a cast viewing. Kind yeah. Of not, not, oh, and that our family and friends are welcome to come. And then Chris is like, dress sharp. And I was like, how sharp? You yeah. Know? yeah. <laughs> that like, that means you, a lot of things in my world. <laughs> yeah. If you want to dress nice. I'm like, okay. Yeah. So I did. And I'm glad I did because then. Yeah. Sweet name. I know. Like, I think, I think, I, I think Nemo showed up in like a t-shirt and he's like, I didn't realize this was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. All right. That was pretty no, good. What, what, awesome experience that was it was That's what, like i said i was listening to you and chris uh your and chris's episode of your podcast and just reliving that whole thing too because you guys talked about the premiere and you talked about just filming in general and yeah it's good it was stuff. a good we me and chris filmed the filmed the thing a short a couple months ago at like a gas station he just like yeah. he just like was in town was like hey i want to shoot the script what do you think and i was like all right let's go for it man and like oh, yeah. Yeah. real quick and in the middle of a take the gas station tender was like, we're closed. Turned all the lights off. <laughs> I was like, I hope you got it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that actually would be a cool shot to add, add in the end there. Right? Like, Can you imagine? It's like, you think this is real? You think that's how I like to feel? <laughs> <laughs> Cut to black. <laughs> wow. <laughs> was that, where, is, where is Chris based now? I, I have no idea. He moves around. So, so he was in, I, I want to say, Pennsylvania? No, I don't remember. <laughs> he was in some place, Doylestown, wherever that is. For a second, wasn't he? So, well, yeah. So okay, so he was there, yeah. and then he went to California for a few years, and then uh, he came back for a few weeks to Florida, and then he was in South Carolina for a while. I th- last I heard, he was in South Carolina working on some project for somebody. But who knows? Okay. That guy, it's a, yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> ever listen to Chris Foster? Are you just like? Yeah, exactly. He knows where the project's taken. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Like I don't. If Chris is listening to this, uh, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> where are you at? We, we, we're playing. Where in the world is Chris Foster? That's and... right. That's right. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna guess he's still in South Carolina. But I don't know what's in South Carolina. Like he's not. I know he had go, like family and friends I'm in Virginia. Go with Maryland. Ooh, I <laughs> like it. I like it. I like. What if he is in Maryland and you just had like? <laughs> you say that and then Chris's ears start getting a little warm. He's like, "What is going on?" <laughs> oh, uh, and I heard from Dimitri not too long ago. Just like was you know, we're just kind of like, "Hey, haven't heard from you in a while. How have you been?" Kind of thing. He's killing so, it. Yeah, like he's he's doing his damn thing, and I love it. It's so yeah. great. Yeah. Agreed. Alex yeah. moved up to Atlanta. She's she's running the game, but she's yeah. doing a ton of theater. Yes. Pretty cool. Doing her thing up there. And there's a lot of film opportunity up there, like tons. tons. So I'm sure she's looking into that. Look and at us. Look at us. <laughs> we've all gone our separate ways. Yeah. Cast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to do a reunion special at some point. I mean, hell, we could do a Skype reunion special. Those are those That's are popular. That's a right good now. idea. You know what? We should we should do that. We should have like a little little texty thing yeah. yeah it's well it's funny because this episode is coming out right after the one i just did with bobby so you got like oh. a mini little thing i might i might call no. i should call dimitri and be like hey it's been a very long time since you were on the show let's figure this out and just catch up because we've done so many things yeah. i mean i mean good you're in new york, <laughs> I'm <from> new york. <laughs> like, oh it's... my gosh yeah. you're tr- are you gonna the goal is to get on stage up there uh well the goal I, to be honest, did not move up here with like a Broadway or bust mindset. I came up here because I wanted to live in the city and oh, yeah. I love it so much. And, um, you know, of course I'm an actor and I'll, uh, that's, that's going to be what I'm after. Yeah. But it's, there's also a film industry up here. That's not quite as hugely sure. saturated as like LA or Atlanta. So I'm like, there's that up here. There's a lot of opportunity. Just, there's so much, amazing creativity and artistic outlets in yeah. the city that somehow I, I've found, I found ways to be fulfilled already and I'm not even, re- I haven't really been really dived into a whole bunch yet. Like I, yeah. I've just been kind of acclimating to the city. Sure. Uh, yes, you know, for the past year, I wanted to give myself like, I didn't want to <laughs> start 
the hugely like auditioning all the time thing because I didn't want to associate the city with rejection that quickly. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, I'm like, well, I'm just gonna let myself be happy for a little bit, and now I'm like, it, and finally, of course, come this year, I'm like, okay, I'm starting to get back into the auditions. Yeah. I'm starting to go again. I'm starting to go. <laughs> the hammer falls. <laughs> You're That's not. smart, though. That's really smart because if you go there and then you immediately are like, okay, well, I went there and I failed, as opposed yeah. to like going there and enjoying being there. It's like even if you fall back, if you don't get something, that's okay because you're happy where you're at. It's, that's yeah, exactly. you're a smart man, that's Nathan. Smart. You're a smart man. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were just looks before now, but here we go. <laughs> Be careful what you're accusing me of. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool though. That's cool though. I'm glad. I'm glad. Had had you been to New York before? Movie yeah, uh, funny story. I had never been to New York until uh I guess it's like almost three years ago now. Wow. And uh, my best friend, I had come up to visit her in New Jersey mm-hmm. and she was like, Also, you've never been to New York, so why don't we just go up to New York for a day or two? And I'm like, uh yeah. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> So we came up for like a couple days. We actually took the Staten Island Ferry over onto the island for the oh, first time. Cool. And of course, I'm like going past the Statue of Liberty and I'm like, this is so cool. And I'm walking around the financial district and I'm just like, I'm, I'm going to live here. I'm yeah. Like, it just, I'm going to be, I'm clicked. just, yeah. It was like in love at first sight. I'm, I'm walking through the city and I'm like, I, I have to be here. I just, damn, this is where I need to come. And because I've lived in lots of big cities, I've lived in Chicago, Philadelphia, Phoenix, like, and all the cities have cool things to them. And, you know, I was a kid for a lot of those, too, so I didn't get, like, the full city effect. But sure, there's just – and as an adult, I've been to a lot of other big cities. But, man, there's just nothing like New York City. It's – yeah, it's just the energy here is it's, – it's palpable. It's incredible. And I love every second of it. Like – even when it gets crowded on the subway or when the streets are dirty or there's traffic because of this and that, or it's noisy. I don't care. I'm walking along. My happy ass is like, there you go. Every second of it. Yeah. It's, and like the, it's amazing because I moved to New York city, one of the densest cities like in the world, like yeah. population wise and building wise and everything like that. But I've experienced more nature here on a regular basis than I did in 12 years in Orlando because really? down there it's, it's well, hot and swampy and don't whatever. go outside. <laughs> yeah. You just don't go outside. Yep. But here, like I said, I have this park within jogging distance. I jog through this park all the time. And then central park is only, you know, a 15 minute train ride away. Sure. And there's just so many parts of central park to explore. And it's, it's, they're so gorgeous. These parks are amazing. And hell, I, I, and it just makes me so happy. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love that. I'm happy for you. It's. I feel like it's so rare to find something like that because so many people settle. You know what I mean? Like oh, just yeah. in life, they're like, eh, you know, this is what you get, and it is what it is. But like, you can, you can get more out of it. Like, you got options, even if you have it's to make your life. Them. It's your life. Yeah. yeah just Hell yeah. Do it. It's uh, like that's kind of where I was. I tell my wife all the time. I was like, fulfillment is the hardest thing to find. Like you can find a little bit of happiness in here, but fulfillment, if you can find fulfillment in life, chase it with everything you have because it'll be worth everything in the world. Like cuz she's a nurse. And she talk I tell her all the time when she comes home and has like 12-hour days with the mask on and she's got a headache yeah. and she's not feeling well. I'm like, "No, on days like this, are you glad that you're a nurse?" You know, cuz like nobody wants to live like that. And she goes, "Honestly, yeah." And I was like, yeah. "Then that's what you're supposed oh. to be doing." Like that's that's, that's I want just... I want that. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Well, and just freaking bless her. It's amazing. Like it's, I I know it's got to be so hard for her right now in this whole situation. But man, seriously, nurses, doctors, EMTs, yeah. all, like they all deserve so much. Agreed. Respect and and adoration. Like they're really seriously. Yeah, heroes, man. Us. It, yeah, it, if it one is. good, I think one good thing that will come from this whole craziness is at least more respect for nurses and teachers. <laughs> for real yeah parents that don't have their kids at home now they're gonna be like we need to pay our teachers more exactly yeah <laughs> it's like hopefully i'm being, yeah. being uh, yeah exactly being cautiously optimistic because maybe maybe as a society we can come out on the side a little better to each other but then i, I remember know. the real world <laughs> yeah and then you see 
do something on the news again. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're like, you know, I guess I'm working double time. All right. <laughs> yep. Here we go. But you did it. You did. It. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're so happy and like you. You're doing it. You're doing it. Thanks. I'm. I love it. I'm loving it too. It's. It really was kind of a came down to well, just do it. Yeah. <laughs> like you know, you're never gonna like, you're never gonna have a whole bunch of money sitting. Like if you you know, I'm gonna wait for the right time. I'm gonna wait till I have enough money. I'm gonna wait till this and that. Like if you wait, it's like going on vacation. It's like doing anything. Yeah. <clears throat> like if you wait till you just have money sitting around. You're never going to do it. Exactly. If you wait until you're completely mentally, emotionally ready, you're probably never going to do it. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. There's always something to get done before. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And like you said, the chasing uh, uh, fulfillment, it, it's. A, I've always said more like it's like my happy. Like, yeah. If something makes me happy, if something makes me feel alive, if something makes me excited, I, like, I fucking chase it because that Hell was Orlando yeah. was – did so much for me. Such an awesome, I got so many great opportunities there. I worked with so many amazing people in so many amazing locations and, <clears throat> and just have so many great memories and, and, and skills and all that, that I, that I developed there. But, you know, it just kind of got to a point where it's like, okay, there's nothing I really want to do here anymore. I feel stale. I feel sure you outgrew it. And then I came to New York and within seconds I was like, oh. I want this feeling yeah. all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 This is what I want. This is what I'm doing, and I started working toward it. And that's right. That's right. You cultivate. You cultivated in Orlando, and then you're like, ah, yeah. Then you found your way. I, my okay. final evolution state is going to yeah. be up here. Somewhere. That's right. That's right. It worked. It worked. <laughs> that's awesome. You said so. You wait. You said you've been to Chicago, Phoenix. What What were you doing bouncing around? Uh, when I was growing up, um, my father worked for universities like he, he was uh oh. director of, like, student activities he worked for like you know student centers and stuff like that and he was just really really good at his job and so he got bigger and better job opportunities oh and that's cool we just kind of went with him so yeah he worked at like you know asu in arizona so we lived in phoenix you know and uh temple university in philly and he, he ended up actually um taking like a quieter job in uh radford virginia and that's, that's where oh. my family moved and my family kind of like settled there and I was sitting here like, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I need to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love it. Yeah, but I need, I need to go. Yeah. Uh, so that's I went to Orlando just to pursue acting and performing and. Really, yeah. I, di- I didn't know that. Yeah, right and uh, so like I said, I ended up going. I'm pretty sure that my parents, you know. I love them dearly, but I'm pretty sure that they were expecting me to go there for like a year and just like fail miserably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let him let him like, do his thing. We know how he is. Yeah, let him go. <laughs> let him try. Let him do his whatever. He'll he'll get over it. But then I ended up like making a career out of it, and they were like uh, pleasantly surprised for sure. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Oh shit! No, he really actually wants to do this. Oh crap! Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's in shows. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they knew I, I always wanted to do it when I was a kid. I did. I was always in the choir. I was always. Oh yeah. I always got solos. I, you know. I there always, you go. Like, I'm not surprised. The, the plays. <laughs> yeah, like it was just always who I was and always what I wanted to do. Sure. And so they weren't shocked, but of course, you know, their parents—they're trying to look out for me. They're like, "Yeah, that's it's a kind of an up in the air kind of career. Maybe you should like try to yeah. do something else, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> you know, that's like, good." Get fall back, and I'm like. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. But uh-huh. I'm gonna do this thing first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep, you've got the you got the protective side of like, listen, I I think that's great. I think it's great that yeah. you found something you like. Um, but also maybe pay your bills. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would like it if you could, you know, eat. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, I'm gonna move to New York. I don't need food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's called a starving artist, mom. <laughs> exactly. Part of the whole thing. That's I right. Know. That's right. Oh my oh, god, that's I'm funny. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. That's cool. That that makes sense that you were into the the whole acting and performing stuff as a kid. That way you can kind of build up onto it. I think you can kind of tell when people like fall into it later on versus like grow up with it cuz you just you just have more time invested into it, you know. Yeah, for me it's always been like a No, this is what this is what I want to do. Right. I I, I will do it 
yeah. It's, not like a, it's, not like a, it's not like a passing fancy. It's not like, oh, that'd be fun. You know, it's a no. I've I've spent my life trying to get good at it, and right. you know, like working on it and actually developing a skill. Yeah. <laughs> knock on wood. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've heard it called yeah. a craft, but yeah. I don't know. <laughs> That's a great word. It's, yeah. <laughs> uh, As to whether it applies when I'm doing it is a different argument. <laughs> I, mean, me, but <laughs> yeah. I understand. I understand. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, it's, but I always knew that somehow, in one way, you know, form or another, I would be, I would be performing. And luckily, I I fell into a lot of things in Orlando that I wasn't expecting. Like I always grew up, I was a, an actor and a singer. Yeah. Not really a dancer, you know. I can move on stage, but you know, I've, I've never like sure written <laughs> dancer on my resume for fear of going to dancing auditions. Sure, <laughs> sure. Uh, but actually, in Orlando, one of the first things I fell into was stunts. What? I started doing. Yeah. Um. One of the first jobs I got in Orlando was at a place called Pirates Dinner Adventure. Amazing. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was like this gigantic reproduction of a Spanish galleon pirate ship. And it was in this like thirty thousand gallon tank or thirty thousand gallon moat around it. So it, like it was sitting the like we were we swung through the air on ropes over the audience's head. I did I sword fought, what? I high falled, I did all this shit. I was like a, the I, I train people how to stage fight with swords because I know wow. we were pretty well known for sword fights on stage. Like they were they were pretty sick. Like yeah. Wow. And this was back before there was like cell, uh, a camera on every cell phone, so I don't really have like <laughs> hardly any videos of it. And I kick myself for it all the time. I'm like, there's no way I'm ever gonna be able to like sword fight like I did on that fucking pirate ship. Right, yeah. <laughs> like, My pirate days is... have gone. <laughs> exactly. I mean, and now, uh, even though I'm only 24, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, I could see it's it. Still probably gonna be harder. I, I could see it. I could see it. Okay, <laughs> max 25, <laughs> and that's that's pushing it. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, I'm 24. Yeah, exactly. Just let me a little, little something, little it's, something. It's very far away though, so I don't have to worry about it. For yeah, exactly. I'm glad you can finally rent a car. That's pretty cool. Now that you need it, <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait for that. Yeah, no, that'll be yeah. so cool. Yeah, like, yeah, it'll be great. It's the last great benefit in life. <laughs> uh, that and staying on your parents' health insurance. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, those days. <laughs> I didn't know how good we had it. Right. Right. That's pretty good though. You got to do like dream roles for some people, like out the gate. Not bad. I bet. Did you ever was... fall? Uh, <laughs> uh, in I did in fact fall. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> well, I mean, I did. I did high falls. Which uh -huh. I was supposed to fall. Those so don't those count. Were, those were, yeah. Those. Uh, there was one time <gasps> when. Uh, should I put this story in a nutshell? <laughs> we like would swing on these ropes like thirty feet in the air from uh -huh. this like thing that. This like platform over the audience to the pirate ship. Okay. And, like we're swinging over the and, and like the water moat and the ship deck. Like we're like swinging across oh, no. onto the ship, and we had like a safety on our hand that held us on there. But this hook that we used to get the ropes, like if they would be stuck over the water, uh -huh. somebody put it back in the wrong place, and the hook caught on the bottom loop of my rope. And when I went to swing, it like took all the momentum out of it. Oh, no. So I'm like dangling, trying to hold on to this rope as it's like I'm like trying to kip swing back, try to get to one of the platforms, <laughs> but I'm just <laughs> in the air and I'm trying to hold on. And I'm like I'm literally just using my upper body strength to hold me up, like because there's no like yeah, you're stuck there. That's all you can do. Like and the the bottom of the rope is swinging all over the place. I almost got back up, but I didn't do it. And as I came swinging back, like finally my my arms just gave out and the safety didn't catch me and I. <sighs> I fell right into the water. Oh, no. I, I was playing the hero too. So that was... It's a very different show. <laughs> yep. Oh, I climbed out of the water, yeah. and just went off, ran off, and got dry, and and made it back for the end of the show. There you go. There you go. Uh, like, so I cool mean, good thing back. you hit the water though. That's good. Oh God, they, not even kidding. Because there's like there were like water cannons in the water too that would should make it look like cannon shots and stuff were coming up. Sure. And I missed those by just like feet. Ooh. I missed the deck of the ship by like a foot. If I'd have done fallen just a Ooh. little bit further in any direction, I might have been paralyzed or who the hell knows. Jeez. 
Sorry, mom, if you hear this. Uh, yeah. That never happened. <laughs> He's okay. He's okay now. <laughs> okay. It worked I'm totally okay. It worked out. Yeah. He's in New York. <laughs> yeah, I'm in New York. Uh, yeah. Oh, actually, that's not. Oh, damn it. Oh, it's a different yeah. game now. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, yes. Wait, hold Sorry. on. <laughs> <laughs> yes wait no hold on Damn. i am conflicted yeah <laughs> that's cool so what yeah. so then was theater what you always wanted to do specifically or were you like any kind of acting pretty much any kind of acting theater was the um bread and butter of my career like sure. that's what i've done like i did theater you know from playing like joseph and joseph and the amazing technicolor dream coat when i was in fifth grade in yeah. our little production to like uh playing i did a bunch of shows during you know in college and then i went on and community theater stuff and then you know moved to orlando and finally started getting like paid to do it yeah and it was then it became like a bunch of stunt stuff i also worked like at universal studios i uh opened the harry potter world the wizarding world harry what? potter with more stunts like what'd you do there we were, uh i was a Durham strength student oh um, sweet yeah, like the the Durmstrang and the Bobaton, we came out and we'd do like a little tri wizard tournament. Uh, sure, you got to do with the, like with the, with the staffs. Yeah, like the girls would dance with a wand with a ribbon on it, and um, and the the boys we would uh, we would do like a whole fight demonstration. We'd do some like fightography with the staffs, like a bunch of staff spinning and all that kind of stuff, and then we would do like Sweet. a whole fight. And it was a wicked cool show, like really fun. Yeah, but. Yeah, after after many years of doing stunts, I also worked <laughs> at, at Legoland doing another stunt show. Sweet. Like, you just... You... <laughs> Are you saying you get tired, Nathan? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> like, it just hurts. <laughs> it hurts so much. <laughs> <laughs> like, there was there was a period of, like, eight years when there was not... Some, when there was just always something that hurt. Yeah. Like, <laughs> always. There was no no break. If it wasn't one thing, it was another. Like you had a bruise here, you had a, you know, some sort of a bone spur or something. Like yeah. You, like there was always something hurt. I had my finger shattered. At, oh, like no. at the drum swing show, one of the guys came down on my staff, like Ooh. shattered my fingertip because oh. he hit too hard. Oh, no. uh, yeah, like I've, I've all kinds of stuff. I remember actually after I stopped working at Legoland, like three weeks later. That was I wasn't doing any stunts. That was the first time I wasn't doing stunts for like seriously eight years. Yeah. And uh, like three months later, I woke up and I got out of bed and I was like, "Wait, a minute. Wait. <laughs> wait, nothing hurts." <laughs> like, I'm, is this how I'm supposed like, to feel? <laughs> yeah, it was one of those, like, I, it, like I, I, I'm not in pain just getting out of bed. Whoa, what the hell? Like, this is it was it was a novel feeling yeah. it was like <laughs> actually i was not in pain anywhere and honestly my quality of life like went up instantly because i just didn't realize how much pain i had been in for so long sure Always. and i mean that's the story of all stunt guys like oh yeah we abuse our bodies you know like that's what we do we do it well and we do it as safely as possible but you're still it's just, falling <laughs> there's yeah, still it's inertia still impact. It's yeah. still a little tiny twist there, or a wrong step here. It's just some. It's gonna hurt. It's not gonna take you out. Yep. But then you also have to keep doing stunts yeah. on that injury. Oh yeah. So it takes forever to heal, and it, it's like. So yeah, I'm I'm happy with my stunts <laughs> being in my past. Like, yeah. I'm very happy and proud of them, and it was they're great skills to have. And if you need me to like ride a horse or do a high fall in a film, sure, I'll pull one out. There you, know? you go. <laughs> like, you still got it yeah, in the I, pocket. <laughs> into a sword fight like nothing like done got you but doing it every day shit no yeah <laughs> that's ever. so funny i never knew you're st you did stunts never knew mm -hmm. dude i love stuntmen stunt stunt, yeah. stunt performers and makeup artists and visual effects artists are like my favorite people in the world because they're oh. so like the unsung heroes you know exactly yeah. yeah i was gonna say the people who never get like enough credit for yeah. the amazing stuff they're, that they do. they're my people and I, yes. I had a guy on his name's harley durst and he was Loki's stunt double for Thor Ragnarok and stuff like that. And he did a bunch of things. Nice. And he t he talked to me. He did um he did a movie. What was it? Uh, I Frankenstein. And then he said there was a part where he had to get like kicked in the chest by Jai Courtney. And I was like, did it hurt? He goes, yeah, it hurt. Yeah, it hurt. <laughs> it just, it's like, of course. I was like, you got kicked in the chest by Captain Boomerang. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, of course it hurt. Yeah, well, I, that's my favorite question to ask stunt people. It's like. So 
you hurt yourself? And they're like, ah, oh, no, but also, yes. <laughs> yeah, it was like, no, no, I, I do everything fine, but there was this time. Exactly. Yeah, not- Legally, I cannot say that there's been any injuries on set, but also. <laughs> but. <laughs> That's cool. So- well, it, it sneaks up on you, man, like backs and knees. Oh, and, I bet. And, and shoulders and all, like, it just... It's crazy. There still are parts of my body that don't function as well as they <laughs> should I not have been a stuntman. Sure. You've got you've got a skill now like Mel Gibson and Lethal Weapon where you can like detach your shoulder. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're like, hold Hold on up. a second. <laughs> then you gotta hit it back, because of course yep. <laughs> that's the only way. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Yeah. So, like, how did so how did you find out about Tethered? Uh actually I had my profile on um, a website called Green Room Orlando. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I had, like, my my headshot and my resume and all that. And Chris contacted me on there. He was like, hey, I saw your stuff. Like, And I had, like, an audition, like, a, a, a reel on YouTube. Sweet. Uh, link to it. And so he was like, hey, I have this film. I've been trying to cast the lead, like, and I feel like you would be a great fit. Can we talk? And I was like, sure. Like, when you want to talk, and he's like, I mean, I'm free now. Can I call you? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, yeah, I'm free too. What, what, what's up? What's up? And so we chatted, and he was kind of like, he's like, dude, I've seen the stuff that you can do, and like your look and and all that is like, if you want to do this film, I'm pretty much like ready to offer you the. Yeah. <laughs> the, the <laughs> Please take <'Cause>, this. Because <laughs> like he's like he's like you know of course I want you to audition, but you're also in Orlando like four hours away, and I can see on your acting. Room what you can do mm-hmm. so like would you be interested i'm like a full-length feature film um, yeah i'm definitely interested like yeah okay but i'm also like fort myers it was four hours away yeah and so i'm like uh, you know and also you know just I, I can't tell you how many times i've been contacted by directors or, or writers and stuff like oh hey i think i have a part that'd be great for you and this and it just turns out to be Oh yes. Wah, wah. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. You know, like. Oh when you have yes. Stuff out, like, oh hey, I saw your thing on this website or that website. Are you interested? I'm like, sure. Send me a script. Send me whatever. Yep. And Chris sent me the script, uh, or you know, like that that initial script yeah. and everything that we could kind of read through. I'm like, okay, this is not bad. Like that'll do, pig. Seems, yeah, that'll <laughs> do. Like this is this is a. Uh, Really not bad. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll go down for the table read, like, and and try this out and see what's happening. Because I was kind of in mindset. I'm still like, it's four hours away. Yeah. It's gonna be a commitment, you know. Like, yeah. If I'm gonna do this, I'm, it's it, it's got to be worth it. So I came down to the t- table read. I met all you guys, and we read through the script. And I, like, while I was sitting there, like, getting toward the end of the script and everything, in my head, I'm sitting there like, fuck. <laughs> I have to drive four hours on my fucking weekend down yeah. to Fort Myers because like, like this is good like I like this and these guys are great like this is this is we could actually do this shit and and that was it I was like all right Chris I'm in and so for fucking six months uh, I would work five days a week that's when I was working at Land uh, really so I was Ooh. doing stunt shows like five days a week and then driving four on, hours on weekend, drive four hours to Fort Myers and I'd stay in the house that where we filmed Tethered and. Yeah. Like sometimes like Chris and I would shoot some things like the night that I got, like if I got there on Friday night, we'd shoot some things that were just me. Oh, like, cool. For the film. Sure. Just so we'd get some stuff out of the way. And then like, you know, the next day, of course, you know, all you guys would come and we'd film all weekend. And then I would drive back to Orlando on oh. uh, on either Sunday night or Monday morning and go do. My God. Such shows for five days. Yeah. Jeez. That's great. So the table read is what did it for you? That's when you're like, okay, yeah, that's for real. Sense. That's what it, yeah. Yeah. Because I, I was, I mean, I was already, you know, I was leaning pretty much toward like, hey, I'm, if I'm going to go down to Fort Myers, I'm obviously like real interested. And, and it would have to be like really bad for me to <laughs> yeah. be like, I just don't feel to do this. But then it turned out to be like so good. And I was like, ah, well, damn it. Yeah, <laughs> I, just, I guess this is what I'm doing. Like, I'm not gonna turn this down. You know, this is this is not. It, it, and it was just, it was such a fun experience. I don't like. I absolutely, it was. I would totally do it again. You know, like, yeah. it was Same. just a, like you said, such a great experience on set. And working with Chris was so great. He great director. Always like 
helped you get there wherever you needed to go with the scene, you know? Yeah. Uh, it, it, what a great, great experience. Cause I hadn't filmed anything like a full length feature film at all before that. Like, you know, I'd, I'd right. done like a lot of commercial stuff. I'd done some smaller things, you know, short film kind of stuff, but like, this was like full on. And, and then I was also the lead, you yeah. know, yeah. <laughs> you're like, no pressure. Well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's one of those, it's one of those, like so. Like so, movie sucks. There's pretty much no way that it's not my fault. So yeah. <laughs> you know, I would just blame Chris. Right. No, it, was, it was it was really him. Like, I yeah. did so well, but he just he just yeah. He God, this guy character. here. <laughs> yeah. That's so, because people have asked me about it. They're like, so how do you think it is? I'm like, I don't know. I haven't seen any of it. Right. Right. Anxiety, stress inducing, you know, kind of thing. And I'm like, but I know that like 70, 80 percent of the shots. I was part of at least. Yeah. Yeah. You know? so, yeah. There's pretty much no way around. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta person. carry some of that. I, fall. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't, I can't really blame a whole lot of other people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If that's yeah. It. But man, it turned, it just, I, I, I thought it was so great. I was expecting to kind of watch it and just be cringing at my performance the whole time. Same, <laughs> same. And, and I didn't like, I, I enjoyed it. I did. Yeah. Like there was, yeah, it was kind. Of, it was like hell. We made a damn movie, and we it's made not a terrible. Movie. Yeah, <laughs> like, it, yeah. Like, it's actually good. <laughs> you know, like it's true. Whoa. For like your first feature, yeah. the goal is just not terrible, <laughs> and we yeah, met it. Should not be the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah. And, oh, we actually did that, and actually went up into like the. Uh, that wasn't. Yeah, it's on Amazon. It's was, on that Amazon was, now, cool. so that's pretty cool. Yeah, is it still on Amazon Prime? Like, cause, I think so. Uh, wait, no, I think we sold it again. It. Because Chris has sold oh, it. Did he? Yeah, he had it like he was telling me. I guess there was this company that was buying up a bunch of like thriller and horror movies, and they wanted to buy Tethered. So I think he's the contract ended with Amazon, and now it's in that thing. But I get it's like a weird thing that I know nothing about. But supposedly you're like yeah. able to resell movies to different distributors over time or something. I want to say I, ha I have a hint of knowledge about that too because when tether was coming out i was looking into like how is he going to sell this how is he going to release this and it is something like that where just the ownership of it goes to these companies who then distribute it or sell it to different companies that then yeah actually put it on the shelves it's like debt so i'm like <laughs> yeah yeah exactly yeah it just like keeps uh channeling out to these different people until yeah. nobody really knows where the movie is anymore <laughs> right right but, yeah. Uh, I still have my DVD though, so and I'm pretty sure I bet. Same. I wonder if you can still buy them on the website. Maybe I don't know. Like, I I still have a, a somewhere around here. I still have the syringe <laughs> that I used. Yeah. I took it. You know what I regret not keeping was I wanted I wanted to keep the ankle bracelet and I I forgot to oh, like. Oh, dude. Like, it up under Chris's nose before the end. Sorry, Chris. That would have been. But good. I was trying to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I straight up stole the syringe. I was but, like. We're done with this. <laughs> yep. I've had that thing. Yep. Yeah. So fucking much. Like it was the thing. Like I'm like we formed a pretty tight bond. Yeah. The end. <laughs> you and that ankle bracelet, the real love story of Tethered. <laughs> <laughs> real. Yep. Yeah. It was real. I like it. I like it. Oh man. Oh dude, Thanks. we just we just did it. We just did an hour. Look at that. Look at us. An hour. Oh, oh, dude, it was well, so good I, talking to you. Oh, I miss you so much. Same. We're going to have to find a way to work together again at some point. I know, I know. We'll figure it out. Bro star. Yeah, yeah, co-star, bro star. Co-star, bro star. Always. <laughs> I, I feel like the all the behind-the-scenes stuff is still on YouTube, so if anyone wants to check on that, I'm pretty yeah, sure. I, I bet if you search other, I don't see why it wouldn't be on there, like the whole kind of behind-the-scenes. stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> us, like, filming as we were filming stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. I thought the interviews are probably on there, too. Skip mine, though. The, that was real bad. <laughs> <laughs> what, your interview? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It came up oh, in my memories the other day, and I was like, oh, my God. What am I What am I saying? I'm like, oh, you know, cosplay <laughs> has informed my performance. I'm like, Brent, stop talking. You don't know what you're talking <laughs> What are you doing? Chris is asking you questions, and you're avoiding them in a, the wrong way. You gotta avoid them in the right way, past Brian. Come on. <laughs> that's oh man. Well, I mean, that's where editing on those things is supposed to. It's like that's why you always gotta be nice to your, your director and your editor because you can. I'm sure I rambled the shit out of some of those like interview <laughs> questions. Be like, like, so what was your favorite shooting tethered? Uh, you know, and 
I, I'm sure by the end I was like, and that's why when like there's a, a solar eclipse, you shouldn't go out and look directly at the sun because <laughs> yeah. that, 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 you know, it, it was because what happened when I was three. Right. So, yeah. to answer your question. It was the third day of shooting that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was you know, the one like with the, the food. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, can we? Oh, gosh. Out to Chris with the catering too. That's what I know. That was amazing. That's the big thing that's ruined sets for me now. It's like, all right, guys, we got catering for the actors. I think one of those like variety packs of chips. It's like, here you go, guys. And I was like, oh man, I am spoiled. Oh. We got yeah, like thanks. We got like Panda Express all the time. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, we got a good That was. I, yeah, I didn't mind driving the four hours because I'm like, at least I'm going to eat. That's like, right. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Whatever. That's right. Food on that set. That's Done. Exactly. This, this is a good note to like directors, actors, producers everywhere. You want a happy cast and people to like go way out of their way to do things for you. Feed them. Feed them. Feed them. So many. We're just working for food. Starving artists. Mm-hmm. That craft service <laughs> table, man. That, that'll get you far. <laughs> it's the way to go. Oh my god. Well, before I let you go, uh, where can people find you online? What are your handles? Uh, my handles. Um, Instagram. I am. Uh, my handle is Bonku Rama. Love it. It's like Futurama, but with Bonk. Yeah. Uh, uh, Facebook slash Nathan, uh, Nathan Bonk. Uh. I don't, my my website is not actually up right now, but it's normally nathanbonk.com. dot com. Cool. Um, I own that domain name. It's like in the between commissions. But remember, for future dates, depending on whenever you listen to this podcast, yeah. you never know. It <laughs> yeah. might be back up and running. So. That's true. Who knows? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, those are my big ones. I don't really do Twitter. I don't do. That's okay. Any others. You don't need Instagram's them. probably the way to keep an eye on me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, want. good idea. Bankurama, I love it. It's so good. And. Hello, friends. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of The Interesting Podcast. If you'd like to follow the show, it's at Pod of Interest on Twitter. If you'd like to follow me, I'm at Jedi Brian on all social media sites. You can also find me at brianbalance.com. That's balance with two L's. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it and tell your friends. A good rating or review always helps. Let them know we've got some cool stuff going on over here. Speaking of cool stuff, we now have merch. Just search The Interesting Podcast on tpublic.com to get you some sweet gear. Also, I made a Patreon, so if you'd like to support the show and get access to other exclusive shows about a bunch of random things, you can now do that at patreon.com slash jedibrian. On that note, special thanks to Chris, Ben, Jim, Daz, Kelly, Daryl, Logan, Victor, JC, and Christina. Your support means so much to me, and I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. So until next time, be well.